Now, this is really interesting because Friday Night Smackdown has always been an A show because it's always been lit. It's always been entertaining. The crowd just loves the blue brand after all, even though blue is my personal favorite color, but still. The fact that it's going to be airing on the USA Network next October, it kind of makes sense because we just had a deal with Endeavor. So I don't know when this man will ever retire because the man just would not go away because we were doing so much better without him. But since he's been back right now, they recently just released more wrestlers like Dolph Ziller. Elias and even some employees all of them are gone right now but also I want to bring up this issue as well with last Friday when the rock returned to Smackdown or returned to WWE in general they censored the a-hole part when they had a segment with um damn I forgot the dude's name Like, I don't know, man. But uh, they had a segment last Friday, and everybody, no, and everybody was just chitting asshole, and all of a sudden they're just censoring that word. I'm like, really, Fox? You've been censoring every single thing every time they say a curse word or swear on TV, even though this is a family friendly product. That doesn't mean that you can't be swearing. Like, you can't swear, you can't curse. Like, kids be cursing all the time. Sponsors be using and airing and putting out shows and movies that have a lot of swearing all the time. So, why not just... Oh, Austin Theory. Yo, okay, um, Austin Theory. Um, and I, I don't know how I forgot that name all of a sudden, though, but still... They censored that thing so much. Like it, it like it has got to a point where this company is so PG, it's never gonna get any better. And all of that happened when this man was still around. And I don't even know if he's gonna ever be stepping away from the company because it just seems like ever since it never happened. All of a sudden, employees, superstars got fired because of one person. I don't know, man. It's just, it, it just seemed ridiculous because all we wanted was a better product. We had that last year. But now that Vince McMahon is back, it's a never ending story. The saga continues with Vince McMahon. Even though He's no longer in control of the company, but he still has some involvement with it because you can tell when they keep censoring a whole part. And I think that is what ruined the segment for me. But they didn't censor the wind call all the dirt. I mean, we cut them out. They, I just want them to stop censoring wrestling, stop censoring when wrestlers and commentators are swearing. Like, be edgy. Stop being so PG all the time. It's what's killing your product. Yet, they may not know it. The WWE has announced new five-year deal, US TV deal with NBC Universal that will bring SmackDown back to USA Network beginning October 2024. Additionally, beginning in 2024 and five season, WWE will create four primetime specials um, annually scheduled for broadcast on NBC, making it the first time WWE will air on the USA Network in prime time. Universal has been a tremendous partner of WWE for decades, said WWE President Nick Khan. We are excited to extend this long-standing relationship by breaking SmackDown to USA Network on Friday nights and look forward to debuting multiple WWE special events annually on NBC. It's a privilege and thrill to continue NBC's uh, NBC use decades-long partnership with WWE 
which has helped cement USA Network's consistent position as the top rated cable entertainment network in live viewership, said Francis Brewick, chairman NBC Universal Entertainment. With Friday nights on USA primetime specials on NBC and the WWE Hub on Peacock, we'll continue to use the power of our portfolio to super serve this passionate fan base. And you know what? You got to give NBC and WWE kudos for giving us what we want to see. A five-year deal for 2024 and five is the beginning of a new era because like I said, the McMahons are no longer control of the WWE, even though Triple H is still in charge of the creative side. So the question is, are they going to go back to TV 14? Because it's time for a change ever since they went PG in 2008. But in all honesty, I just feel like We've been wanting change for a long time, and I feel like Endeavor and the WWE. I hope to God they're gonna end up. They're gonna, I mean, they're gonna end up giving the fans what they want because we're all tired of this PG nonsense. Give you know blows to the head with steel chairs. Like I don't want to see you know any wrestlers using chairs to the gut. And then onto the back, like that's been tiresome for years. Like it's time for a change. It's time. So, with Friday Night SmackDown going back to USA, it's this is this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. Stanford Con Business Wire WWE part of TKO Group Holdings and. NBC Universal have agreed to a five-year domestic media rights partnership that will bring Friday Night SmackDown back to USA Network beginning October 2024. Additionally, beginning in 2024 and 2025 season. Yeah, I already read this part. But SmackDown will come exclusively to NBCU and one of television's longest reigning programs, regularly reigning at the number one show in 18 to 49 advertising demographic on Friday nights and featuring many WWE superstars including John Cena, Roman Reigns, Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair, and Rey Mysterio. As a partner of WWE and NBC Universal's long-standing relationship, USA Network is currently home of WWE NXT and Monday Night Raw, which is the number two cable entertainment programming in 2023. In the 18 to 49 demo, uh, demographic, demonstrating the deeply engaged WWE audiences on USA and NXT, 27% and WWE Monday Night Raw 15% are up double digits year over year in the target demographic. WWE Monday Night Raw and NXT will continue to air on USA Network through September 2024. If that's the case. If the target audiences are demographic and 18 to 49 year old men and women, why are they still doing PG stuff that has kids watching at home? Don't you think it's time for a change? In addition, since 2021, Peacock has been an exclusive home of WWE Network in the US where Peacock subscribers can stream thousands of hours on a demand programming from WWE, including original series, groundbreaking documentaries, fan favorite shows from WWE Achieves, and premium, yeah, premium live events like WrestleMania, Survivor Series, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, and more. WWE continues to drive high engagements on the platform with this April's WrestleMania 39 live stream delivering a record-breaking weekend for Peacock as its highest weekend Yudish to date. You know, WrestleMania Part 1 was pretty good. WrestleMania Part 2 was mediocre because of the ending between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. And the reason why I don't like the Roman Reigns match is because he's always had help from people that can't fight fair. This is an interesting article. You know, I'm glad that they're going to be airing SmackDown primetime on USA next 
you know, next October because I originally thought it was going to be this year, but next year it kind of makes sense because with the whole strike going on in Hollywood, I just hope that all of that ends today, which I highly doubt it's gonna do it, but it's possible. So, what's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Link to the article will be in the description. I'm out.